Hello, yes, I'm Steve Wright. I'm a senior lecturer here at the UWE. I, I lecture in avionics and aircraft systems most days. I'm John Bradford and I'm Chief Executive of High Tech Bristol and Bath and we're co-organising Max Europe with University West of England. This event is the first in the world autonomous drone racing competition. It's about engineering, it's about technology, it's about software, it's about teamwork. The event is called Max AAX. <laughs> so Max is brand new. It technically stands for Micro Autonomous Aerial Extreme. What we've got is loads of robot flyers and they will charge around this course, marked out, red, red line on the floor, and as fast as, and as many times as possible. It's as simple as that. So the fun is racing drones around the circuit. The technical challenge is how do you do that without a human pilot? All drones have control systems on them that help them fly. If you turn those control systems off, they would be completely unmanageable. What we're doing is taking those basic control systems a step further so that they can fly themselves. They have onboard cameras, they have onboard sensors for their movement and altitude, and what we're doing is joining up those cameras with uh, software so that they can figure out where they are on a track and then decide what to do next. You have what's called first-person view flying. That's a camera attached to a drone and then somebody either looks at the screen or wears some goggles to fly that. And that's great, but I'm not very good at it for starters, and so that's got me interested in. Let's get the computers to do it instead. And that's the sort of future of how this sort of thing's going to play out as well. So we just want to make some fun out of it at the same time. A lot of the general public have said they haven't got any technical help to help them learn how to fly. We have a separate arena for that and we have experience and experts on, on hand to be able to ask. If, if you're interested in drones but you've never ever had any, any experience whatsoever, just come along and have a try. Like you say, we've got plenty of drones lying around, you can see, not, you can not only have a go, you can also see kind of what you, where you can go with it. You can see the possibilities. With drones specifically, it's a growing industry and I think it's really cool and it has a lot of potential and there's a lot of fascinating stuff to be learned. So I kind of wanted to see if I could learn something and, you know, tag along. People here today, in the main, have actually built their drone from scratch. So there's your engineering. They have also programmed their drone. Uh, so there's your, your technology and your software. And I thought that was really cool how it's actually I don't know, kind of common sense. If you know what you're doing, it's very easy to put together. And I thought that was actually really neat. You know, it's something that looks very complicated, but when you break it apart, it's actually very simple. First and foremost, this event is about, it's more a robotics robotics idea. So we tell the drones to do a certain job, to look around and become a, a little bit of a human, a human nature in that sense. They follow a certain track on a line, they do, they do a mission. That's the whole idea. So we're trying to make drones as intelligent for, for us as human beings to take tasks to support our everyday lives. And that's what we're trying to get people into with this event, to say, I want this drone to do a specific job. In our, in our perspective today, that's following a line on the ground doing image recognition. But this can be easily scaled up because it's just a starting point and just, just get these drones trained to do more clever things in the future. One of the research questions is how do you build these things? How do you design the software so that they fail gracefully? At the moment, when they fail, they just drop like a stone. What we want to do is to have software and code in there that allows them to identify when things start to go wrong, put themselves in a safe place, so that A, you don't damage the drone, but more importantly, you don't damage people around them. It's developing so quickly, so immediately, so rapidly, that it's quite difficult to predict just even the next two or three years. Um, but it's, it's going to be a lot more drones in the skies, that's for sure. For Max, this is the first event. We've got five, we've got four more planned over the coming years. The ambition is to, to go bigger, to do more. Um, ultimately, we want to fly outside. When you think about how it can be applied to the modern world, to the police, ambulance, 
firefighters, you never know where it could go. It's quite amazing that you, know, like you sort of started the revolution sort of thing, or you were part of the revolution that like when it all started. Yeah, I definitely will be here next year and I highly recommend it for other people to come as well. Yeah.